Hey, welcome to the Backroom Comics Podcast. We're doing a quick review here of Scott Pilgrim, Volume 6. Woohoo! And along with a discussion of some of the other stuff coming out uh, related to that. Uh, we'll probably have it in the title and everything else, but this is spoiler heavy. We are going to tell you what, how it ends and discuss how we th what we think of the ending. Yeah. Um, so, I guess go to one of our other web pieces if you don't want to know. <laughs> uh, what did, so, overall, what did you think of it first? Are you like how do you wrap the series, or like just the start? This, to finish, this start to finish volume. this volume, and I would say it falls completely in line with everything else. Mm -hmm. There was definitely a conscious effort to include some of the like he's always been good about having the supporting characters have their own lives, not always related to Scott. At the same time, there at least there are some nods at times to like how characters interact like it's purposeful yeah yeah um there's much a huge amount more manga influence than i've seen in the previous volumes like the ways that some of the especially some of the girls smile or ee yeah actually scott doesn't ee that's also very manga but um a lot of the big shiny videos. eyes uh, a lot more video game references there seem to be a lot of a that lot more um i definitely actually appreciated the memory cam I really liked. I it. really liked that a lot too. That was cute because all the character, well, the, the characters they used it in, it was exactly the same. It was the guys who have mm -hmm. grown up. The it was also very um, much less subtle when it came to telling you how screwed up these characters are. And, and like you know, it used to be the, the first five books and all well, the first four books. You didn't really, unless you kind of looked at it, you didn't really get the impression. Hey, Scott's kind of a dick. No, I think that they called that out because it was by volume three or four that it's been, that Knives is finally starting to come to the acceptance that he really did not treat her well. And yeah. is actually calling her out on it. It wasn't until volume five that she had the guts to tell somebody else about it, mm -hmm. which was also sort of a dick move the way she handled that. But yeah. um, that's, no, I think Scott always did come off as a bit of an asshole slacker from, not necessarily from the very beginning, but they, they but don't he was, lose. But he was charming, you know, yes. you know because he, you know, he was, uh, he was kind of flailing his way through life and he, and he was right. newly in love, so you didn't want to judge him at the, initially, then all yes. of a sudden, oh wait, no, you're right. And I, yeah, I will agree with you in that. It's interesting that you get the last volume, and suddenly there's a huge amount more history and backstory suddenly inserted in yeah. that wasn't there before. Oh, you're right. You're uh, right. That when they you find they, out about him and Envy, like, or yes. you know, the, the, the real what, what actually happened, or with him and Kim when they first broke up, sort of, not really. Yeah. Um, and it was one of those where it was. I I guess I can see that not doing it until now allowed him to make allusions to it. But made sense that if you're going to force the character to grow up, you also have to force him to confront the past demons. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, what better than have a flashback? Oh, totally. Well, and I it, love that there was the two panel, uh, vertical two panel, where he has the memory of what he thought happened, and then she reminds him, and then he has to have that memory of what who he was actually talking to at that moment. Yeah. Well, let's let's do a quick recap. Um, it starts with. Where the other, where the it's a few months after the end of the previous volume. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, so Scott is kind of in. He's he's focused on playing video games because he doesn't want to yes. think about uh, he, his love life. He doesn't go outside. He doesn't interact with people. Even they even point out he basically quit his last job. Mm -hmm. That was the other part of him sort of being a slacker asshole. Was the the progression of finding an actual job in yeah. the early volumes. And so at this point, you know, it's sort of accepted that he's just avoiding life entirely. Well, and Wallace is telling him, uh, basically, she's gone, you need to go forward and go get yes. laid. Right. <laughs> and so and he does he that. the in point the... of saying, not only is he dating one of your exes, he's sleeping with both of, or two of your exes at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And, and that still didn't, you know, it, it kind of got him to start moving eventually. And, and so he, yeah. he, he, he meets up with Knives and says, hey, let's make out. <laughs> after after making a resolution of hey I was I'm sorry I was kind of mean let's make yeah. out yeah like, again he's still not getting it no no because usually when he's approaching women at this point early on it's let's have sex yeah um, he did that to Kim yeah he did that to knives and not that that would be acceptable with anybody but it's still somewhat hilarious that it came out that way um, and I I like the nod that he actually has the make out for a few seconds. And then realize, wow, that was one of the biggest mistakes ever. Yeah, the, though you know what, the, the kiss he had with Kim, uh, I, I gotta credit the art here, yes. is great because it's a um, Brian Lee O'Malley uh, drew Scott 
kissing Kim really quick. She's really shocked. Uh, she gets into it. She actually grabs his ch yeah. his his uh, coat, and then she's like, "Oh crap, no!" No, no. And that that was pr that that's comic art right there, right? And that's yes. like that's him really showing conflicting emotions with yes. zero dialogue. Right, as opposed to the, a little earlier, going back to the kiss with knives, where he also this uh, volume again likes to break the fourth wall a lot. Yeah. Um, and this one in particular was like they break the kiss and it says, "But it was horrible for everyone." And that includes you, <laughs> the reader. Um, and so, yeah, I think there's that. And, you know, he goes through the party. He tries to figure out what happened with Emmy. And he still doesn't get it because she's trying to reconcile what where she is now with who she was then. And he's one of the few people who knows who she was. Yeah. And she realizes that he doesn't really, he just is sort of floating through life and doesn't really acknowledge that history. Yeah. Um, it would be safe to say in a way that um, the women to him in his life so far have just, you know, he's, he's jumped from, he's floated from woman to woman too, kind yes. of as possessions in a way. Yeah. You know, like he didn't, you know, he loved them, he cared about them, but, uh, you know, he wasn't actually working actively to do anything with them. Right. Um, and, and then, you know, again, you know, he, there's a little bit of a cudgel there with O'Malley in that he actually has a fight with Mega Scott. Yeah, That's like the, the with an N. <laughs> which is basically him fighting, like, literally having a fight with a Shadow Scott who is all of his memories and past mistakes. Yeah. And yeah. pointing out, and it, it, I guess it was effective and you get to have a lot of good fight scenes, but it's also just the acknowledgement that you can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. Superman 3. Well, yes. yes. That's true. Superman 3 does fit into that whole. Yeah, we're uh, wrap up. We need to, you know, we are, we're on a time limit here. So let's. Um, I want to go to uh, the reference to all the way back to I think volume one or volume two when when Scott was killed. Oh, but he right. had an extra life, and he got that extra life a long time ago. Right, and, and he, I love that because it's his sister on the phone with her mom trying to say that Scott might be dead, and it's his, his mom's voice like, "I told you he got a power up back in the <laughs> yeah, day." Exactly, it was great. Uh, um, um, let's talk about. How, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, well, we mentioned at the very beginning, and one of the things right about the same time that this happens is he introduces his sister to Neil. And he stops mm -hmm. referring to him as young Neil. And you see where suddenly Neil now has this huge crush on Scott's sister. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it's described as this is the greatest day of his life. <laughs> so there's also these little things where, and it's also sort of funny because you have this acknowledgement with, how do you two not know each other? That's crazy. Like, you know, all of these characters have interacted for so many well, volumes in this case, mm -hmm. and so now you suddenly have a little more interaction between, but then they don't interact again the rest of the book. No, it's so just kind of the introduction and... Well, and, and that, I think that, that fits in well with the end to the book, right? It's, 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 even though this is the last book, it's, it's still about beginnings, because, yes. you know, that's a, that's a beginning of a relationship, or potential relationship, you don't know, and that's what happens at the end of the book, right? They, they kind of... Uh, Scott and Ramona together have... defeat the final X. Exactly. Gideon, and sort of come to this agreement with, you know, it's finally they float off into subspace again. It says, so we try again, are the last words. And that was, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. Um, now, this, for the movie, this is, you know, this will be perfect ending. And you've got Scott Pilgrim Punch Out as a little 8 bit game, there's an 8 bit side scroller video game coming out. The movie, I think, is going to wrap perfectly with the happy ending. I, I think so. Or the happy beginning. Well, yes. There you that. go. So let us know what you guys think about the, the, the last volume and the, book, the movie when it comes out. And I'm sure we'll have a special of that about that.